The short history of Root Del Sol. Between June and August 2018, Solar Roller and I built the first fully deployable solar array of our fully solar powered van, which he used to drive from Alaska to Baja, California, Mexico from August 2018 to January 2020. If you haven't seen all the videos yet, I will link the playlist at the end of this video so you can see the two seasons. At the end of January 2020, all the solar panels got ripped off the roof of the van in a freak windstorm just outside of a town called Catavina, Baja, California. Then after a failed attempt at putting it all back together again, it all caught on fire. I decided that I had to completely replace and redesign the solar array. Then there was this thing called the coronavirus. Facing a crashed economy, nobody had the capacity to help with the repairs. So for months and months, I was trying to get the support to rebuild the solar array. Until in May 2020, a guy named Shane Merrill Fascio came along. Did I mention he really likes one wheels and Teslas? He inspired me to not give up and offered a bunch of support to help push the whole dream of Root Dull Soul to continue. We hired some engineers in Argentina to help redesign the array with the intention of trying to rebuild the van in one of Shane's factories in Miami, Florida. We came up with these designs by the end of June. They were very cool and we wanted to bring the van back to life using them. However, and unfortunately, I was denied entry into the USA as the borders were closed due to COVID restrictions and we went back to square one. After exhaustion of many failed attempts at getting back on the road, it was time to rest. So I joined Bea from Verde Bodentro on a trip down the Baja California Peninsula to La Paz. Unfortunately for me, I had to leave the beauty of Southern Baja. The simplicity of life on a beach without the worry of a broken solar van was impossible. I returned to Ensenada, Baja, California to get back on the horse and ride the wave of perseverance. Shane agreed to help continue the fabrication process over here in Baja, California instead of Miami, Florida. He commissioned the initial funding pool to help with finding a space to rebuild the van and to buy materials to fabricate the designs we had previously came up with. This is when I met Hector Maimes from ORS Race Prep. He and I spent the summer in between his rigorous racing program, designing and testing new ideas for the solar array. Another big piece of the story was Galt Energy, who came along to save the day. They organized a co-sponsorship with SunPower to supply Root Del Sol with the solar panels much needed to make Root Del Sol 2.0 possible. Finally, this is where the story brings us to this point in time, the end of 2020. Root Del Sol 2.0 is well and truly underway. Now let's take a more in-depth look at our new solar array. It starts with our first design constraint, the solar panels. I have chosen to stick with the flexible solar panels. SunPower offered me a whole catalogue of their solar modules to choose from, but ultimately I couldn't pass up on the lightweight, efficient and flexible durability of the 110 watt SunPower flexible solar module. I have 70 individual panels to creatively fit on top of the roof of the van. I chose these based purely off of the power to weight ratio in comparison with their counterparts in glass framed modules. In addition to weight, the tempered glass may be perfectly suitable for a stationary array on the roof of a house or even on top of an RV. However, in the application of Root Del Sol, these things need to be completely modular and off-road friendly when in use and also packed away for transporting. Moving on from the solar panels themselves, we've defined our new array to be set up in 10 array configurations. There's the main roof array, which is going to be always exposed. It's going to be set up at three panels wide and five panels long. Then underneath the main array, we have our two center sliding arrays, which are going to be three panels wide by three panels long. And finally, to complete the fully deployable automatic solar array on the roof of the van, we have our four swiveling arrays, which are going to be one panel long by three panels wide, which gives us a total of 45 panels or 4,950 watts on top of the roof. When I gave the sneak peek of the array design on our Instagram account, a lot of questions came through about the decision to use a swiveling technique for the outer panels as opposed to a complete sliding technique. There are a few reasons why we chose this method of deployment versus a complete sliding array. The first was cost. The most expensive component of the array is the rails used to actuate the deployment. The cheapest rail system we could find was around $500. Times that by at least around six, 
comes to about three grand, which was an absurd amount of money to spend on sliding rail mechanisms. After visiting this issue for a while, ultimately we came up with a swiveling technique, which will actuate with a precisely measured slot and pin and a single pointed vertical hinge. Using a self-fabricated rail system for the bulk of the panels in a centre sliding array, we'll use a 12 volt motor and Acme bolt to push the array out. Another point I'd like to make is that by having two different motion techniques, we are open to better opportunity to be able to lock the array in a solidly closed and solidly open position, which is super important because we all know how good I am at remembering to lock the array when it's packed away. Finally, and in reality, we could have kept the array super simple and worked a bit harder to formulate a three drawer sliding mechanism. But ultimately, the first time we saw the simulation of the swiveling array, we thought that it looked pretty cool and we wanted to make that happen in reality. Being inspired by your creations are a very important part of my process. Our rear array will contain the remainder of the panels, which is 24, bringing us to a total of 69 panels or 7,590 watts worth of solar. These panels will be configured in a tailpiece that folds open into four arrays equally sized at three panels wide by two panels high. This tail array then forms the back storage area of the van when not in use. This area will also be used to house the electrical components of the off-grid setup. So this is a plan for our rebuild Root Del Sol 2.0. Please don't hesitate to ask any questions you have below in the comments section. I look forward to hearing them and responding to them. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the action of this build. I'll see you all in 2021.